Hi everyone, this is Terry from Random Southern Texas Craft Room. And what I want to ramble about today is a couple of cards that I made uh, using a new technique that I learned and it's sort of a pop-up card. And the first one I'll show you uh, is uh, I just made this to show off the video. This is just some cat, uh, cutouts, that uh, die cuts that I already owned that came in a package. And I put them on the front. Let me move this one out of the way. And then when you open it up, balloons pop up like that. And so what I'm going to show you today is really how to make this little uh, balloon mechanism. It's really simple, but you can do lots of things with it. And it just, I cut my balloons out of uh, glitter paper and put them on acetate. And then I glued them in, I sandwiched them in between and put them inside the card. And it just sits like that. And just this really a cute little card. And you could also use other things. This one I did balloons. And here I use six balloons that on my, uh, I think on my blog, there's a picture of a card that I originally made for my daughter and uh, for her birthday. And I used 12 cards there, I mean, excuse me, 12 balloons. And the lady that I originally saw do this on YouTube, she did 12 balloons also. And I really did like it. The only difference in hers and mine is I added... Uh, some string to my balloons and she did not do that in her original tutorial so I, but I will on my blog and on this uh, YouTube I will put her um, YouTube channel so you can go and see what I originally saw and how she did her balloons okay then you could also do like I did this little one here this little uh, Halloween card and it pops up and it just makes the cutest little uh, ghost and how I made this card is I cut these things from this die cuts with a view pack, mat stack. And uh, I cut this out and this out. And I also cut out the house that's here. Now the ghost I cut off of dressing up paper dolls. And I cut them at two and a half inches. But this I used, uh, there's the paper that I used for the outside. Let me see if I can find the house. There's where, there's where I cut for the outside, the boo for the outside. And there's the house. And when I took the house, all I did was just cut it directly across right there with my cutter. And just glued it on each side. And it had some coming out of the roof of the house. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry my cat's meowing in the background. Okay, I got the cat to be quiet. <laughs> okay, anyway, there is, uh, let me show you how to do it. It's really simple to do. I'm just going to show you really quick how to do it. You need two pieces of paper. Let me get my, you'll need a score pal or something to score with. You'll need a regular A2 size card. And then you need this card, this piece of paper. This paper is cut at 5 and a fourth by 10 and a fourth. Okay, and we're going to score this. I just put it on the 6th. And I'm going to score it a half an inch on both sides. A half an inch here. And then I'm going to move over one more time and do another half inch. Then I'm going to come back to the middle. Oh, I hope I'm on, I hope I'm on the video. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go over a half an inch and here a half an inch. So as you can see, you have five lines. You did it in the middle. A half an inch. Over a half an inch. Back this way a half an inch. And a half an inch. Okay. That's all the scoring we're going to do. So let's put this away. Okay. There it is. We're going to fold it back. And we're going to fold the first fold towards you. The second away from you. Flip it over. And we're going to do the first score towards you. The second score away from you. Just like that. Okay. Now when this is done, this is going to go inside right like that. Just inside there. Okay. All right, so now we have this folded up, and we're going to use some glue. We're going to take a little bit of glue. Now, I use a 3-1 glue, and we're going to turn it over, and we're going to go ahead, and as you have it, just like that, pinched, you'll see that there are two valleys here. We need to glue those valleys together. So I'm just going to put a little glue there, and a little glue here, okay, and glue that down, just like that. Okay. We're going to let that set aside and let that glue. And while that's glue, we're going to work on, we're going to do balloons today. I'm going to show you how to do the balloons. But to do the same thing with 
the um, here's two balloons now these balloons I cut on Create a Cricut at three inches now this is approximately four and a half inches long about a half an inch okay now we're just gonna put our glue on take our stick, stick it in there and then put some more glue on now if you want to use the if you want to do the string through here now it's time to put the string in run your string let me grab some string real quick and I'll show you okay I put your string inside right here Put a little bit more glue right there okay oops sorry and we're gonna put a little bit of string right there let it run down and you're gonna take your second one and we're gonna put it right on top okay pick it up well try to pick it up there we go pick it up and let it now you got your string inside and the string will look like it's coming down you hold it and you put you another piece of glue on the bottom that's going to go inside the fold you're not going to be able to see that if it's inside you won't be able to see it there you go and now there is your balloon and you make six eight twelve three however many of these you want okay and then when it's good and dry I made another one here so we have two okay so you're gonna take this and switch now this is what you glued together right here now it's glued together and all you have is this opening here okay we're gonna use some pretty uh, strong glue you can use the red line glue or a glue red line tape I'm sorry the red line tape uh, your ATG gun anything you want to put to because you're gonna put a strip of glue right there I'm just using this tearaway tape works really well fits the same size as a half an inch so it fits right down in there okay put a little bit more I cut it just a little bit too short put another little piece and we'll just turn that off okay. now I'm gonna peel the tape off You never want to. you're on camera it won't trim off I don't know why it won't otherwise I have no problem getting the tape to, to peel off now it won't peel off or anything there it comes nope it won't come off come on tape there it comes wow that was the hardest I've ever had normally that tape comes right off that is really strange okay let me pull this tape off there we go now from here to here it's about four inches so I'm gonna put the first one here and as you can see this one's a lot longer so I want to just cut it down I have to retape mine my string here doesn't want to lay down but you just retape your string re-glue your string there we go give it a second to dry okay and I'm just gonna stick it right next to this one now if you want it shorter if you want it longer you leave it the length you want it and you can put I, I the one I made my daughter I put 12 across there just fill up how many the varying lengths you want the colors you want and then when you're done you just close it up like that there you go there are your balloons same principle with this I just whatever I wanted I just put in there you can put flowers in there I just set them right in there so okay now let's glue them into our card okay there you go so we're gonna take our card and we're just gonna put some glue like I said you can use your ATG gun whatever glue works for you okay and we're just going to stick it inside the card as even as possible up against the, the rim there. there we go okay same thing with here you just 
And you know, uh, the sky's the limit with this stuff. You can you could literally put anything on the inside that you wanted to stand up. And you've got a pop-up without all that mechanism. It's a very simple mechanism. There's no, it's not complicated. There you go. Now, only advice I have is that when you're picking out your acetate, make sure you pick out an acetate. Wait, glue all over me. I'm sorry. Uh, make sure you pick out an acetate that that is a firm acetate because if it's not, this is what happens. Your balloon will not stand up. You've got to have it where your balloon will stand up. Because if you try it and this is what happens to your balloon, you know, it's not going to work. You, let me show you this other one. You really do need to have the balloon. It really needs to stand up like this. Okay? If it does this, not good. Okay? It really does need to stand up like that. Okay? And you have a little bit of give to it. You want it to move. But you don't want it to be rigid where it won't move. But you don't want it to do this because that it, it won't stand up. Okay. And so there you go. And then you just decorate it however you like. And the more you decorate it, of course, the the heavier it'll be, and it will turn. Now I will tell you when you get it like this. I usually fold it over like that to give it a little more weight to stand up better. Okay. And then you fold it back, and there it goes. It'll stand up just perfectly. Then when you open it. Just like that. Now, once you get some weight on it, you get some, um, you know, some some stuff to decorate it. It will it will lay down perfectly. Wow, cool, huh? Anyway, I will give you the ladies uh, uh, a YouTube that I saw this and uh, go over and see what what she did to hers. But I just thought these were so cute. I mean, you could put anything in the inside. Here's the other one that I made with the with the balloons. Isn't it pretty? I just love the balloon. And you could put flowers. Uh, you could do lots of things. You could group the fl the balloons together and have them come out in a bouquet. There's there's lots and lots of things that you can do uh, for this. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, let me know if you make one. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.